Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today we are on to week six of our AE511 class. So let's take a look at where we're going this week. So um, if you remember last week we started our discussion on closed loop control. We looked at some simple strategies like bang bang and bang bang with a uh, hysteresis dead band. Now I'd like to look at uh, some more complicated and sophisticated control strategies and these are ones that actually make explicit use of plant dynamics. So remember these two strategies we talked about earlier were pretty plant agnostic um, but also pretty dumb. So we want to get a little bit smarter and actually use our knowledge of the plant dynamics to design a control system. So to do that, what we're going to look at is uh, probably one of the most popular ways to go about doing that um, from a simple standpoint, and that is using what's known as the root locus technique. So we're going to first do a quick discussion here. It's a quick 60 minute lecture talking about what is root locus, um, how do we use it, what is it good for, things like that. And then we are going to get into the nitty gritty here with this almost, you know, almost three hour long discussion on how to understand and actually sketch and draw the root locus. So this is going to be very similar to our discussion earlier where we were talking about understanding and sketching um, body plot components. That was a nice in-depth discussion. This is also going to be a in-depth discussion. The only thing I do want to call out here is um, I tried to make this video and this lecture very comprehensive, which has a lot of information in it, but we actually don't need all of it for this class and for this homework. So you don't have to watch all three hours of this. Instead, it's really only the first, you know, hour 55 minutes that are relevant for homework. So feel free to go ahead and stop at this timestamp. You shouldn't need any of the information after that. Now, if you want the full discussion on root locus, feel free to watch the entire thing or skim through the notes. Again, remember you can get the notes in all of the, um, in the description of all of these videos, just go to the link and then uh, you'll have a GitHub page URL that has lecture notes. So you can use that and skim through that if you like, but this should get us a good solid understanding of the theory and intuition behind uh, what is the root locus. Okay, so that's the theory discussion. And then um, we're just gonna follow that up with a quick discussion on, okay, that's great that we know the theory. We, it's great that we know how to do it by hand, but how are we going to use a tool like MATLAB to actually do this for us automatically and make our life a lot easier? Um, and then lastly, what we're talking about this week is, okay, root locus we're going to see is a technique that's going to allow us to understand um, where the poles of a closed loop system go as you vary some parameter in your control system. Um, the other way you can determine if your control system is going to be just stable or unstable, if that's all you care about, is you can use this criteria known as the Ralph Hurwitz stability criteria to determine um, if you are going to have poles in the left or right half plane of your system. So that's our game plan for week six is basically it's all about root locus. You're going to see that this Ralph Hurwitz is, is kind of a discussion on, on, on root locus as well. So that's the game plan in terms of the lecture material. Let's take a look at the homework. And luckily this week, the homework, uh, again, mirrors very closely the lecture material and there really aren't too many gotchas. It's pretty straightforward. Um, problem one, I'm just gonna give you a plant. Here's the plant model. Let's say you're gonna make a controller that looks like this. It's really simple. It's just a proportional gain here. So instead of a bang bang control system or an if statement, now we're gonna have a basically a multiplication statement. So this is a proportional controller. It's really simple. And the nice thing about this is it fits exactly into this root locus framework and infrastructure that we're gonna be talking about in this lecture. So all problem one is basically asking is, um, maybe I should just say, if you watch this video, you're gonna see all we do is we go through um, a whole bunch of different steps, like looking at the pole zero map, figuring out how many zeros you have at infinity, looking at where the uh, where the root locus is on the real axis, computing the angle of asymptotes, computing the centroid of the asymptotes. And all those are doing is helping you sketch or get an intuitive feel of what the root locus looks like. So really parts A, B, C, D, E, F um, are basically just follow this video here. And then you can see part G is just using this lecture down here on Ralph Hurwitz. And then part H is just using this lecture on plotting it in MATLAB. So again, nothing to really talk about. I, I don't think I wanna stand on circumstance and I, I won't drag this discussion out because it really, problem one is just do what we're doing in the videos. Just a, a chance to exercise what we're talking about in the videos on an actual concrete problem. 
And then problem two is actually just the same thing with the slightly more complicated plan. And you're going to see that has a slightly different, uh, you know, that has effects on the root locus. Um, so basically do the whole thing again. There's a couple of extra bonus features in this one. So again, I'll let you watch the video and this part is optional. So again, this idea of angle of a departure that is contained outside of this timestamp. So again, that's why this is optional. It really doesn't affect your, your root locus too much, but if you really want a little bit more understanding and a little bit of higher fidelity, then feel free to do part F and watch this full video but again it's optional save yourself some time if you like and skip over that again nothing to really talk about because you can see it's pretty much a copy of problem one with just a slightly more complicated plant model okay and then lastly problem three is is actually pretty simple um we are going to be using this r locus command in matlab right and that is a function that comes with a control system toolbox basically it's another toolbox you have to buy um, on top of your license fee that you're going to have to purchase for MATLAB. But really, after we talk about what is the root locus and how to draw it and how to sketch it, you should be able to write your own code. If you don't want to use MATLAB's R locus, you should be able to write this yourself. Or if you're at a company that doesn't have MATLAB licenses or have um, a license to the control system toolbox, you should be able to write your own. So all I'm asking for in problem three is, how would you write your own? You don't actually have to do it. Just give me some pseudo code of, you know, what are the inputs? What are some of the general steps? What is the outputs? How would you emulate MATLAB's R locus command? Again, you don't have to generate an actual functional um, piece of code. Just give me a rough idea. Just give me the pseudo code of what this looks like. So with that being said, um, yeah, I should probably leave it here because week six is pretty straightforward. That's all we're going to be talking about is just basically root locus and using it um, from a academic perspective here as well as a practical tool perspective down here. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think if anyone has questions, uh, send me an email. Otherwise, I'll look forward to talking with people at office hours. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye.